what's up so we're back so I'm gonna show you how I get ready for work when it's like a Tuesday and you know it's raining out I don't want to overdo it on my face obviously I since I've had a baby I got dark spots Ugh, never cute and I'm not a big makeup person I am not gonna lie to you guys I do not spend but maybe five minutes getting ready and I use it cosmetics this has been like my mother put me onto it because I always would buy really really cheap makeup I don't buy expensive stuff because I just could never bring myself to do it so I like it because it blends pretty well look already those dark spots are going away see what a difference it makes all right I have to use this one because I cannot see good over there so yeah I just do this so I put on the base very simple and now I am not a makeup artist so I do not <laughs> know all the contouring techniques or anything like that I just like to get ready my baby is literally watching word party right now so I just want to not look like a complete train wreck so that is my goal so anyways yes I just put on my foundation now I sometimes have like under eye circles and all that stuff and so I will add like some white and stuff right now it's not super horrible I did get some sleep last night um I do like to add a little bronzer because I don't like to look pale so this is like just something really simple and again this is how to get ready in like five minutes which who doesn't love that and this is simple. Who is this made by? This is Revolution. So you know what? I don't even know where I got this from, but I like it. All right. I think we got everywhere. Um, next, blush. So that's kind of, I guess, you know, I know people like to contour. I just like a little extra blush. So this is what I'm using for blush. And where's my blush brush? My child loves to play in my makeup. He is a boy, but he sure loves makeup. He likes to draw with my makeup. That's like his favorite thing to do. So I'm a weirdo. I put on my forehead, my nose, my chin. And by the way, I don't like this because it's making me look like I have like five chins, which I have like one, but not five. So yeah. I like a lot of blush on my cheeks. Then I make sure I like a lot of, I like pops of color on my lips. Now this is a super cheap lip gloss. I think this is maybe even wet and wild from the drugstore. I like ooey gooey stuff. The matte stuff I do wear sometimes, but not very often just because I, it dries funny on me. I don't like the way it looks. So this is, so far so yeah some of my dark circles have went away nothing crazy i don't get a little too uh nuts with it and then i'll do some uh chateau that's my thing now this one is by wet and wild so this is wet and wild that i am using on my eyes and i just usually if i'm not going anywhere i like the more subtle approach more natural i don't want anything too crazy and i got these cute little mermaid brushes aren't they fun so I will just put that on just so I have some color on my eyes. So there. I'm not as plain Jane, right? Now normally I would do like a lighter color and then put some brown in the creases and all that fun stuff. But it's a Tuesday and I'm just trying to look this is the uh, mommy get ready look in five minutes or less so yeah really I just need to add mascara and eyeliner which again my child has moved everything around on me so I need to find where that would be <laughs> the beautiful luxurious lifestyle of being a mom I have no clue oh there it is I found it Alright, so a lot of times I don't do my eyebrows, even though I should, because they're super, super thin. This is Anastasia. Is that how you say it? Yes. So that's what this is. Uh, is it Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills? 
So I have one of these. Run it through my brows. And then, yeah. I put it on there. What well, I can't see really good in my screen, so I will do it and then I will show you. So I try to grow my eyebrows out, but they do not grow. And when they do grow, they grow like blonde. It drives me crazy. And then, yes, as a child, I was a huge plucker. So, uh, yeah. And when I was super young, a lady waxed me and, like, burnt me so bad. And I feel like ever since then, they never grew back like they should have. Now, I don't have um, amazing eyebrow skills. Like, I've had people do my makeup and they make my eyebrows look amazing. I cannot do that. I don't know why. I just don't have the skill for it. And I'm usually getting ready in five minutes with a baby crawling on me. I'm actually very surprised that Halen is not crawling on me right now. But anyway, so I got a little darker eyebrow going on right now. And then, again, just some mascara and eyeliner. So every day I don't wear eyeliner because for some reason I've tried the most expensive mascaras, the most expensive eyeliners. And by the end of the day, I feel like... Under my eyes get so freaking black. So this is so far. And the lighting in here is so horrible. It totally is. It's bright. But I just feel it's like horrible. Anyway, so now I just need to add mascara and we're done. We're at 6 minutes and 42 seconds. I totally, if I wasn't doing this, would have been ready in like 3 or 4 minutes. So yes, that's what I'm going to end with. And I use this Maybelline mascara. I do have that Kylie mascara which I do use sometimes but again I feel it makes my like by the end of the day under my eyes is so dark I do curl my eyelashes I have to sometimes I will wear fake ones every now and again but yeah so this is my quick mom get ready to now if I'm having a date night with my husband or going somewhere I do take more time I do put a little more uh, effort into it but nothing too crazy because it is a lot of work. I give props to you guys that are really good at this and take the time to do it because I just, I'm not good at it. I feel like if I was better, maybe if I sat down and like practiced and got really freaking awesome at it, then maybe I would enjoy it more. But I've never been a huge makeup person. I've never, I mean, I didn't even really start wearing makeup till... I was a tomboy for the longest time. So yes, I'm getting, ooh, it's like focusing in and out. And I know they say you're not supposed to um, curl them after you put your mascara on, but I always totally do, just because I feel I have to. And I get the lower lash. Boom, boom, boom. Mommy's ready for work at Strut Boutique. So there you have it. There's my getting ready in less than 10 minutes. And now, I just got my hair done yesterday. So, uh, where did I put that? Um, I It's uh, freshly washed and ready to go. So, I just used my wand and I'm going to go through it and just do some fun little... And easy. Now, obviously, it's going to look better than that when I let it out loose. But I just like to do little easy, simple stuff. By the way, it's raining out. So normally, I would either have my hair up or not do it at all. Just blow dry it and be on the go. And I can't believe I'm doing this in my room right now. This is a little side room that I don't know if they added when they gutted this house. The people we bought it from, they got this house in a foreclosure, so they completely gutted it. I looked at like, psh, I don't even know how many houses, and then I decided to buy this one, which was the very last house I looked at. We looked at a few on Sherman, over by the hospital and everything, and I uh, 
Some had been redone, but I wasn't in love with the whole house. I knew we wanted at least four bedrooms. The only thing this house doesn't have is a garage and a really nice back deck, which I loved my last house because of the back deck. I love being outdoors. Me and my son are outside all the time. And I absolutely love it. I want him to be very adventurous, and he totally is. He plays in the mud. He plays everywhere. So it's so great. Kids need to be kids. I'm not going to have my kid not like liking to be outdoors or stuck on his iPad or playing video games. That is so sad for me to watch. Like, oh my gosh, kids nowadays, they have no social skills. I'm like, how are you going to live in the real world, people? So, yes. And then I'm going to have to spray it. Got to get the back over here. I've been doing it in that camera. In the camera and I can't see what the heck I'm doing. And this camera focuses in and out so much. It's crazy. Alright, let me get this little spot in the front here. I messed it up. And I got a few more in the back. As I eat my hair... But these little wands are fun just because it adds a little something, you know, not too plain. So I'm going to like brush my fingers through it so that they're not tight. I'm going to spray it. Did something fall? Yes, Jean's behind me because I'm so unorganized right now. I need to pack for a trip I have coming up this week. So this is my look for the day. Can you see me? Oh my gosh, I feel like it's so weird. And I got a piece of hair in my eye. There we go. So yeah, this is my look for the day. Come see us at Strut. We are open 11.30 to 6.30. We got a bunch of new goodies in. You can always shop in store or online. So come check us out. Strut Boutique, 308 State Street in Watertown.